Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be looking at Unit 3 using the slope formula in the coordinate plane. Our learning objective is that I can use the slope formula to analyze and reason about the properties of figures plotted in the coordinate plane. Alright, so let's take a look at our problem here. We're going to have to use the slope formula to determine whether the provided triangle is or isn't a right triangle. All right, so you can see here on the coordinate plane, we have a um, triangle that looks like a right triangle. If you just kind of look at it from here, um, this looks like a right angle to me. Um, but what we're going to do is have to figure out whether or not it is a right triangle. All right, um, and just to be clear, a right triangle is a triangle that has an angle that measures 90 degrees. This means two of the sides are perpendicular to each other. So perpendicular means that you create a right angle um, when the two lines intersect. Um, so we're going to have to prove that triangle ABC is a right triangle. We're going to have to show that we have a right angle here. All right, so we're going to have to show that line segment AC is perpendicular to line segment BC. Okay, this is this um, geometric symbol for perpendicular to. Um, essentially, it means that this line comes down here and creates a right angle with this line here. All right. All right, so how we're going to do that is we're going to use the slope formula. Um, to figure out if it is or isn't a right triangle. All right, so what we need to find is the slopes, oh, that's definitely a T, the slopes of line segment AC and line segment BC, okay? And let's just recall that slope is equal to our rise over our run. All right, so what we're going to do is find the slopes of these, and then there's kind of like a rule um, that comes up when two lines are perpendicular. It has to do with their slope. So we'll, we'll find the slopes, and then we'll kind of go over that rule. So let's find the slope of AC first. Slope here. Um, I like to just kind of draw our a little right triangle here. This helps me find the rise and the run. Um, so I'm going to go be going up one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going up six. And we're going over two. So we're going to rise a positive six. And we're going to go run two. So we're going to go over six over two. And you could simplify that to three over one or three. Now let's find the slope of BC. Slope of BC. Again, I come down and over. I'm going from B to C. I'm going to be going up. I go up two and over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I'm going up two. Um, and over seven. Now this is a negative slope. Remember this was a, any direction going this way is a positive slope. This is a negative slope. Um, so you can think of this as I'm going, okay, I'm going down two um, and to the right positive seven. So that would be negative two over seven. You could also think of it as I'm going to the left, which is negative 7 over a positive 2. Um, either way, this is a negative 2 sevenths slope. All right, so the thing about um, slopes and how they make perpendiculars is they have to be opposite reciprocals. Reciproc, oh man, I don't know if I can spell reciprocals. <laughs> I should probably redo that, but I've come this far, maybe not. 
Uh, recip, recip, recalls. I think there may be another I in there. Um, so basically what an opposite reciprocal is, if let's say we have a slope of one third. A reciprocal is basically um, flipping your numerator and denominator. And then opposite means it would be positive and negative. So since this is a positive one third, the opposite reciprocal would be, um, we make the reciprocal, so three over one. And since it's the opposite, it's a negative. Or that's negative three, all right? Another example of this would be, um, let's say our one slope is three over four. I'll make it a negative three over four. The opposite reciprocal would be you flip it. And then if it's negative, it becomes positive. All right, so these are opposite reciprocals of each other. Now, what's the trick about perpendicular lines is perpendicular. Per <laughs> oh, man, I really can't spell. Um, perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. Reciprocals. I think I spelled it that time, maybe, probably not. So we have to look at the two slopes of these two lines and determine, are these opposite reciprocals of each other? And if they are, um, then great. Then they do make perpendicular lines. Um, if they're not, then the lines are not actually perpendicular. So the slope of AC was six over two. Um, and we could simplify that. We could leave it the same. Um, I'll just leave it as six over two. That's fine. The opposite reciprocal of that would be flipping it two over six. And if it's, since it's positive, we need to, oh, I don't know if that wrong, two over six. And since it's positive, we need to make it negative. So if these are our two slopes, then we're good. Then they are perpendicular. But in this case, our slope of BC was negative two over seven, not negative two over six. Like I, I almost wrote it wrong there. Um, so in this case, this angle is not a right angle because the slope of BC is negative two over seven. If it was negative two over six, then it would be, but this is not a right triangle. Not a right triangle because it does not have opposite reciprocals for those slopes. If point B was actually right here, and this seven was actually a six. This angle would get just a tiny bit bigger. Right? If you can kind of reimagine that triangle, then in fact, this would be a right triangle because we do have those opposite reciprocal slopes. But in this case, it was not. It sure looked like it was. Um, but we showed that it wasn't. All right, so on the back side, um, very similar problem. You are gonna show whether or not this um, triangle is or is not a right triangle um, using that slope formula and using that opposite reciprocals. All right, thank you.